A mother who nurtured and cared, who shared laughter with her daughter, begins to ask her, Who are you? What do you want? Why have you come to my house? Fatma Nuzhat cared for her mother, who suffered from Alzheimer's for 15 years. But it all seems like yesterday. Because she started forgetting switching on and off the gas, uh, going into different rooms when she intended to go to another room. Like, for example, she would go to into uh, bathroom when she actually wanted to go in her bedroom. So when we realized that she's missing on these points, uh, we took her to have a CT. And through that, we identified that uh, her brain cells were shrinking and that it is Alzheimer's. I think it was as well a very big shock for her, uh, not only to me. As a patient, she wouldn't understand what changes were coming to her, so she was at loss. And uh, sometimes it would make her aggressive without realizing. And uh, most of it, if I understand today, after these many years, I understand that she was trying to hide, hide that fact that she she is losing her memory or she is not able to manage certain things. I, I can give a word that, that she was trying to hide. She became my baby and I had to assume the responsibility of being a mother. Even though I was not prepared, but uh, when it falls on you, you, you learn through the process. And uh, through her, I learned myself how, how to be able to treat her, how to be able to uh, manage my stress, how to be able to keep myself away from uh, getting depressed. So the focus was on her, the focus was on her care, the focus was on her uh, making her feel comfortable uh, rather than making her undergo a treatment or get well. Uh, for any patient of Alzheimer's, the only advice I can give is uh, they don't need medication. As of now, we don't know anything. It's just the care, the loving touch, a hug, a kiss matters a lot. Actually, here we used to come and enjoy some moments with my grandma. And it was really like uh, a moment which is uh, like I could remember them now whenever we come here, and uh, because uh, I could I could understand it is painful, challenging, but we have to accept it, and they have to be part of our life. And uh, I as well uh, understood with the time that even if they have lost their memories, they, sne they still need like love and affection from us and rather they need more attention. Um, I remember some moments, like when I used to touch her in the beginning, she used to get uh, some agita agitated and uh, she, uh, she responds in a, like, she's scared and uh, she will react differently. But uh, when I touch her, I hug her, she used uh, to respond to the touch and uh, she used to uh, give us a nice smile. Basically, when Alzheimer's starts, it starts by hitting the area of the brain responsible making, for making memories. And as time passes, the disease gets worse and the person becomes more and more forgetful. And at the beginning, sometimes they, they could be time when they could come back and they are able to remember a few information. But with time, these moments, what we call lucid moments, become uh, shorter and shorter. And this can be very confusing for the caregivers because suddenly father and mother or mother are able to remember things or names or events, but that's gone within seconds or minutes. And uh, with time, that as time progresses, these uh, intervals are shorter and the person almost totally loses his memory and to the point that it's almost being erased. So they can't even recognize their own reflection in the mirrors. They don't recognize their family members. In some instances, they could ask the person to leave because they think he's an, or she's an intruder in there. And this is very painful for the caregivers because how do you react when your mother or father do not recognize you anymore? We may not be able to bring their memories back, but we can definitely make their life better with the right care and love. Memories are forever.